back at retirement. All right, YouTube. So we are back to Buffalo. You know it. Uh, we just left Valley Street, New York. It's in uh, Long Island, Queens area. Um, we're out there building all these and we crushed it. In half a mile, take exit six for New York 36 toward Mount Morris. So we're on our way back to Buffalo and yeah. Um, it was pretty cool, we had fun. Uh, we thought we were gonna be there for three weeks, but we just killed it, so. Uh, Take exit six, then turn left onto New York 36 North. Well, yeah, so um, it's my first out of, time, out of town job since I've been back. Turn left onto New York 36 North. Uh, had a great time. It got a little brisk. Um, especially yesterday and the day before yesterday, but be besides that, we were working in t-shirts. It's like a 10 degree difference in the weather from Buffalo to New York City. So, um, Continue on New York 36 North for five miles. I didn't really need none of my really cold gear, but my fingers did get cold and I used these, um, these Peacock hand warmers. And they, these are the best investments ever. Freaking $22 and they use lighter fluid. And dude, you're, they're awesome. Pay for yourselves. Um, well, yeah, so this was, that was probably my like eighth out of town job, six eighth out of town job. So I did it before, I knew what to expect, but what did you expect as your first out of town job? I just knew make sure I was suited and booted, you know what I mean? I had to prepare for the worst, you know what I mean? I hope for the best, you know what I mean? And that's what we, that was the outcome, you know? We crushed it early, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, we couldn't, you know what I mean, knock it out because those concrete guys, but at the end of the day, I still, you know what I mean, we made our money's worth, and the best experience and opportunity to go out there was definitely well worth it, you know what I mean? So, but uh, weather out there-wise, it was definitely brisk, like you said, but we was prepared for that, you know what I mean? We was well prepared for that. Definitely had the warm moments, but I would never forget the experience of the Union guys. Yeah. That <laughs> that changed my world. That right there, that definitely uh, changed me. A big fucking four hundred mosh pit guys just rooting for the Union. And you yeah, know us. That, that was like some movie type stuff. That yeah. was pretty. Uh, they caught me off guard because. You know, they've been going there every day since we've been there, and they've been putting up the rat, scat, uh, scabby the rat. They blow, It's like a big blow-up uh, rat. And there's like 10, 20, 30 of them. And then they're like, yo, the union guys are coming. I'm like, all right, they've been here every day. Who cares? Right. And I'm like, yo, there's an army and there is at least, like, legit 100-plus union workers outside of us, like, shaking oh, the fence. Wow. Get out of here, blah, blah, blah. Shut it down, shut yeah, it down. Yeah, it, it was crazy. I'm like, yo, I didn't, they caught me off guard. It was crazy. Yeah, that shit was nuts. But, um, yeah, so that was cool. Oh, and then Valley Stream or whatever, the area we were. We no bitches. No bitches. No fat asses, no nothing. It was sad. It was depressing. Yeah. Like, yeah. we were literally working in a mall plaza and... Nothing. 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 At all. Nothing. I was like, wow. I'm like, depressing. I was like, no wonder why the union workers over here, man, because all the girls is ugly. Like, they legit ugly as hell. Like in Arizona, when I went over there, there was no cute girls out there. I'm like, man, Buffalo got some good ass food, some hot ass chicks, <laughs> and they don't beep at all. Like, we hear beeps all day. Like, it was crazy Literally out there. Every Second, every you hear second. a beep. I'll beep. I'll I'm beep. talking about the New I'll York beep. minute I'll is beep. for real. Yeah. So that lifestyle out there is crazy. It's, it's not different. for me. It is really different out there. Well, yeah. So um, back to Buffalo. Back to the grind. Um, I got a lot coming up. So I'll update you guys on that. Uh, I'll be uh, renovating three apartment rental uh, properties. So that's gonna be uh, pretty exciting. And then I'll probably do mine as well. So four properties. It's gonna be a pretty expensive, but whatever. You gotta invest to get the money back. So um, I'm gonna do uh, three full demos, guts, down to the studs, insulate, new wiring, um, new plumbing in the kitchen and bathrooms, drywall, flooring, paint, the whole nine. So it's gonna be exciting. I'll be busy for the next couple months. Just focus on the rental properties. And then uh, back to stacking. So, uh, 
my uh it's been a, a crazy year i'm gonna try to sum it up i think i did a last year so yeah i did do a, a last year so i'll post that with the new even though i got like two more months to get a lot done but my new year's resolution for 2020 is um learning uh jiu-jitsu i'm about to sign up for that and learning how to shoot a bow and arrow so those are like the really two things i'm focused on plus other goals i got but those are two that i want to focus and uh you That's guys can see my freaking uh my bird that flew on me he's coming home with me so i got me a bird from um the city i think i'm gonna name him all these and keep it at that. So it's good aim, it fits. Yeah. You got any goals? Any uh anything for 2020 plan, Keontae? Um not really. I just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to grind like the, the next guy, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get out that get out that motherfucking mindset of being, you know what I mean, that ghetto ass black individual and being that middle class black individual. I hear that. That's all, you know what I mean? Like that's all it is, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to make another name for myself at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's just, that's all it is. I'm just trying to get ahead. Just get ahead. Stay ahead. You know what I mean? Ten steps to the next next to the other guy. Mm -hmm. You know? So do you wanna explain to them yesterday about um, that bet you lost? No. Nah. No? Nah. You wanna clear the air? I, nah, I don't wanna let them find out for themselves. The video's up there, you know what I mean? The content's there. You know what I mean? You can see for yourself. I can legit say it's not what it seems like. Like legit. In a quarter mile, continue straight onto New York 36 North Main Street. For this guy, like the dude's just official tissue is you know I mean? just that simple. Like you know what I mean? You gotta keep you get yo know, your word is everything. You know what I mean? So yeah. you gotta maintain to keep your word and keep it real and stay real about yourself. You know what I mean? And I respect Not, nothing, all nothing day. about you know what I mean? Nothing about you know what I mean? Oh, he did that, blah blah blah. No, keep your word. You know what I mean? Is it, you, you continue straight onto New York 36 North Main Street. Scarface, you got your work. My man, my man definitely earned his stripes out here. Right. Everybody for real, yeah. respect the kid. For real, for real, man. Uh, That's the uh, name of the game, man. Yeah. So that was really about it. I didn't get me no New York City pizza. I've been on a mean budget just because I know I got these uh, three rental properties to fix up. So I've been on some petty pitch. Continue on New York 36 North for two miles. And, uh, what it is you just gotta make sacrifices where you can to you know work hard play harder and it is what it is true story so well yeah so i'll talk to you guys that was my little update for the past week and uh yeah let's get this money yes sir hey you do